The sun is dreading rising this morning. A newly deployed soldier has dreamed of fighting in the Afghan war since he was a little kid. And the Department of Treasury releases a new Monsters of the Silver Screen line of $20 bills. Eons from today, the wise ones will speak in hushed tones of the glory that was the Onion Week in Review. Overwhelmed by the ever-mounting list of problems it faces, the nation finally broke down this week and begged its smart people to please just fix everything now. Everybody from local citizens to prominent politicians apologized for messing everything up and pleaded with U.S. scientists, economists, educators, philosophers, and inventors to intervene. You were right. We were wrong. We, we have no fucking idea what we're doing. Please, smart people, just, just make things better now, okay? In order to more accurately portray the risks of smoking, the FDA has approved putting a picture of Trish on the cover of all cigarette packs. Clinical trials suggest that images of diseased organs, corpses, and deformed infants all prove less effective than a single photograph of Trish smiling. Smokers can expect to see the graphic campaign as early as next month, paired with a simple line of text that reads, Cigarettes Cause Trish. In science news, a new study finds that every style of parenting inevitably produces disturbed and miserable adults. Despite a great variance in parenting styles across populations, from overprotective to permissive, the end product is always the same, a profoundly flawed and joyless human being. One bright note of the study, adults can find temporary happiness when they're able to perpetuate the cycle of human misery by having children. In sports, John Madden agrees to work as a consultant for the Oakland Raiders concession stands. In other news, the Pulitzer board adds a giant pumpkin category, a local man's utter failure in life is a bit of a sore spot, and some trick-or-treaters mistakenly choose to bypass a Jewish house. Dr. Klaus Diefenbacher, if you're listening, bring back what you have stolen from us and we promise you will not be harmed. For more news, visit theonion.com newsbeat.